Do you know what's the next big thing in health and wellness? Technology. The days of barbells, dumbbells and group exercise are on the way out. Today I'll be speaking to an expert who knows everything about the future of fitness. So I'm here with JJ. He is the owner of this gym. It's a beautiful gym. Thank you. And I want to get straight to the questions, which is okay. far more interesting, no? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the first question is, for a first timer, mm -hmm. what do you do with a first timer if they come in and walk in here? Uh, something unique about Paradigm, we built this very much, you, people might say we've taken a risk because mm -hmm. we don't have the traditional machines here but we have a lot of new and exciting ways to train. Okay. One of it is with our calisthenic rig. Okay. And then if you look at the gym floor, we use group fitness as a driver because we know that helps people um, when they're new. So they have people to work out with. So they're not by themselves on some of the traditional machines. They actually can work out in a group session uh, with a live coach and we also have virtual classes that they can follow as well. So JJ, I want to ask you, what is the trends in technology that you're seeing and why is this happening? Well, you know, the great thing about our industry, it's advancing a lot. And if we go back and think about when the Swiss ball came, mm -hmm. and then after that there was the BUSU, and then there was the TRX, and as time went on, there's more and more accessories allowing us you know, to train in new ways, different ways. <clears throat> and after that, now there's apps. And these apps are allowing us to measure things and you're able to take away your progress. So one cool thing that I've noticed, we have a, a, an incredible bike, an indoor cycling uh, bike, it's uh, ICG, we have the ICG 7, we have the ICG 8, and the console is a computer that all links up to the main computer, and we're able to now train in different zones. We have a color for each zone, so as an instructor, when I motivate someone to get to a blue, mm -hmm. they have to get on an RPM, mm -hmm. so they can see their RPM, and then I can say change to blue. So then they change the resistance to get to blue. Later, they change the resistance. If I say get to yellow, get to red, you know, white, blue, green, yellow, and red, they're all at different levels. So I can challenge people in, in, a, in a nice, cool way. Now I can project all that onto an LED screen that gives all the information. At any point in the class, I can push a button, show how many RPMs everyone in the class is doing, because the number of their bike gets on the screen and they can identify through their console. And then we can also push to see their training zone, their color comes up. So I motivate, all right team, everyone on blue. So if someone is kind of you know, dropping behind, it gives them a motivation to push more. They normally wouldn't be able to do that without this technology before. Do you think that we are going further more towards technology? I believe so. Um, I, I definitely see that shift is happening. I'm not seeing that it's for everybody, right? You know, some people are more, uh, you know, they, they, they're more, they more analytical minded. So they want to check every little detail, like how how much mileage I did, and what was my speed, what was my wattage, you know, different things. We can also do this on the the life fitness treadmills, the newest ones uh, that we have. We can link that up to the, their fitness app. You can go outside using the fitness app, trained, you know, running up hills, going around different ways. Now you can come back, uh, link that with the, with the treadmill, and you'll uh, do the same tread, uh, workout that you did outside. Wow. That's amazing, right? Wow. So if there was a hill, the treadmill will change to the hill. 
the speed will change. If you were going downhill, it automatically changes. So that gives them more of an immersive experience in their training. Yeah, but at the end of the day, we can have all this technology. It's yeah. just a push, a kick to get going. It is, <laughs> um, but there is people out, out there that are now playing games. Right. They're just sitting back on, on a lounge chair, you know, eating the wrong food. And yes, their brain is stimulated and they're working yeah. hard. This technology might motivate them to come in. If there was cool ways of playing, but now I'm standing and I'm moving, so if there was a machine that allows me to you know, to, to push buttons or to uh, achieve something, I think this is the way forward, you know. Three things that I want to ask you when you coach your, your trainers. Mm -hmm. What are the three most important things that you teach them to deal with your uh, clients? Uh, a big thing is their energy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're motivators. If someone asks me, what, you know, what really do you do? I, I motivate, okay. right? I need great energy for this. But there's times where I need to also identify the client who's in front of me. People have a busy day, they're at the office, the, their, their boss is screaming at them, right. you know, they have, they've come through the traffic, you know, all, all kinds of situations, right? When they walk in the door, I need to feel the client, right? They've had a stressful day. I don't want to push them through a workout and stress them out even more. So there might be times where you might even go and calm the person down for 10-15 right. minutes and then when you feel they're ready, now you start to put, put them into their workout uh, where they're ready to start you know, feeling the movements and now they walk out the door feeling, feeling better. Yeah, yeah, feeling great. way better. So energy, second one. That's, what's the second one? Well, being a motivator. Motivator, yeah. the third one? And then it's identifying the person in front of you and being able to gauge their workout and, you know, and, and moving them through their workout so the person feels successful. Correct. Yes. So that's yeah. it. Very yes. simple, you know, read the body language. So on that note, thank you very much, JJ. Thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Great. Thank yeah. you very much. Damn, baby girl, don't you stop. You gotta dip it, pop it, shake it, drop it. Dip it, pop it, shake it, drop it. landscape of Bali with buildings would be a shame. For those seeking a more vigorous, heart-pounding and sweat-drenching workout, you can do as I do and use the natural settings of Bali to blast your body. All you need is a little imagination. So, what do you do if you are in a tropical island like Bali want to exercise outside and have a great time with a friend. You do it Lila's way. Hi guys, we are here. I am actually I am here with Marcus, who is brave, brave enough to do these exercises with me. Welcome, Marcus. Thank you so much. I'm honored to be here. Li life by Lila. Oh my God, your life. Is yeah, amazing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing because we're doing it in the heat, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. But I am so happy that you, of all people, are, are brave enough to come and do this with me. Okay. <laughs> what exactly, what exactly what are we doing? <laughs> okay, so we are doing five exercises yes. and we're going to show the audience uh, so they can follow us at home. Yeah. yeah. And then we have, I'll give you a dice. But before we do this, let me hold the dice first, sorry. Okay. So we, you just have to show the audience mm -hmm. that's at home how to do these exercises, okay? Okay. So 
here's your dice and let's start. So I'm going to I think dice comes with money. Later. Oh, okay. <laughs> so let's put I'm going to put my card down and so what we do is we we it's a 4 minute exercise, mm -hmm. right? So so every exercise has a number. Yeah. So we're going to throw the dice mm -hmm. and see what number comes up and you follow what number it is. If it's a 2, then yeah. it's a crunch. Six. Then if it's there's no 6, sayang. Okay. <laughs> okay so four times. Four times. Okay. Four times for each exercise. Okay. okay? Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. I cannot see. Oh. <laughs> so I'm a five. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Oh. <laughs> so who's going to beat who, Marcus? <laughs> so once I win, I uh, pick up a rubber band. Oh, is that my desk? <laughs> three. <laughs> That's no six. <laughs> no makeup. Different story for my exercise. So we got four minutes, guys. Oh my god, again, mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. <laughs> so, as you can see, Marcus is laughing. I do not know why. <laughs> so, I think it's just the two exercises. But we gotta make it all fun. Three! Three is a jump squat. So. Are you okay, Ryan? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Are you okay, Marcus? <laughs> okay. So it really brings your heart rate up and also with the heat. Again, the famous mountain climber. One, two, three, four. It doesn't matter, guys, as long as you're having fun. And, and you have option. <laughs> thank goodness I have somebody else to do it with me. So this is the last round. Six. Okay. Oh, six. <laughs> you might have six. Five. Okay. One. Jumping jack. Two, three, four. This is the last round. I'm running because it's four minutes. How very sweet you waited for me. And then that's it. So let's that's it. That's it? Yeah. And now we count how many rubber bands you have. One, two, eight, <laughs> two, <laughs> three, four. four. So it's a tie. Yeah, it's a tie. Wow, well done. Two six. Well done. You had two six. Yeah. Where there's no six. Yeah. Then but we both six is one. <laughs> but both, most importantly, we both have fun. Okay. Bye, Marcus. Yeah, that's fun. The heart rate goes up. Okay. So, now, what are you doing? You say something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can do it at home with your friends. Bring your family and your friends. You can do it at home. You or especially it bring especially. it with your enemies. Yeah. Do it with your enemies. Yeah. Don't forget, bring food, drinks, and everything else. <laughs> An umbrella. And pillow. But, okay. <laughs> but you know what? Huh. This is the Lila's way. Okay. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.